What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. And welcome back to another installment in my Tony Scott Director's Marathon. Today's review is my review of the 2005 action film, Domino. So Domino was released in 2005 and it is loosely based on the true story of a woman named Domino Harvey. And this movie was critically trashed by a lot of critics. A lot of people consider this one of his absolute worst films. I saw it had 19% on Rotten Tomatoes. And this is also one of the, another big bomb from the director as well. So what did I think of this movie? Let's find out together. So in Domino, it's the story of the life of Domino Harvey who abandoned her career as a Ford model to become a bounty hunter. And this movie stars Kira Knightley, Mickey Rourke, Edgar Ramirez, Monique, Lucy Liu, and Christopher Walken. Going in, I thought the story was pretty interesting. Obviously, Domino Harvey is a pretty fascinating and complex character come to find out. Uh, starting out as a model, she was also, she's actually the daughter of a Hollywood actor named Lawrence Harvey. You may know him for being in the classic film The Manchurian Candidate. And she eventually became disillusioned after her dad's death and then ultimately decided to have a rougher image and become a bounty hunter. And I find the story quite interesting. She definitely has this really rough attitude over everything. And throughout the whole movie, I was intrigued by the story. And I thought Kira Knightley gave an excellent performance. This is one of the best performances I've seen her in alongside her role in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. And she's an actress that's been pretty hit and miss for me. I guess it depends on the direction she's given. But yeah, she's really good in this role. I definitely bought her as this tough as nails character. And I do find this Domino character very interesting. And she did live a very tragic life, come to find out as she died of an overdose just months before the movie premiered. And that's really sad because I did find this character very fascinating. And I definitely enjoyed at least the bounty hunting side of this movie. There are some fun action sequences in this film. And there is a solid cast near to back it up. I did enjoy Mickey Rourke in this film as one of, as a fellow bounty hunter. And Christopher Walken had this very entertaining small part as this reality TV producer who's trying to make Domino and her bounty hunting buddies into this reality TV show. And that angle I thought was pretty entertaining. And this movie does have some entertaining moments at times. I will say, like I said, the story is very fascinating, but at the end of the day, Tony Scott's directing style made the movie less interesting as the movie went along. Like by the end of this movie, I stopped caring about the entire thing. And that's a big detriment to the film because Domino Harvey's story sounds complex. It sounds compelling. And I think if you had added a lot more dramatic weight to the film, it'd be one of his best films. But Tony Scott decided to focus it more on this like over the top, wild action film. And not all of it worked. And while some of this crazy directing style with like really muted color palettes and flashy text and quick cuts and everything and weird camera angles that feel like you're watching a music video at times. While I didn't mind it in Man on Fire, even though it can get a little obnoxious at times, he doubles down on it in Domino to the point where it gave me a massive eye ache watching it and it got really annoying after a while to where I stopped caring. In fact, by the third act of this movie, I was so bored by this movie that I was falling asleep and I was struggling to stay awake. <laughs> it 
became that dull of a movie to where I stopped caring. And I think it's kind of similar to what I also said about The Fan, is that the story is an interesting one, but I think it had the wrong director attached to it. I think this is one where you should have gotten somebody a little more seasoned and rich weight, added that in there alongside the action, and then I think you'd have a great movie. And that didn't really happen with Tony Scott's Domino. Even though there are some good moments in there. Keira Knightley's awesome. There is some fun action at times. I did enjoy the soundtrack. It has one of my favorite title sequences too I've seen in a Tony Scott film, which is centered around um, imagery of dominoes. I do find that a pretty brilliant title sequence, but overall I found this movie pretty lackluster. I felt like I was watching a bargain bin straight to DVD action movie at times, and those movies had rough quality to them, and yeah, Domino's definitely one of those movies. It's definitely style over substance because of the way the movie was made. It definitely lacked the weight that Man on Fire had. Man on Fire, even though it has similar directing style that Domino had, what made Man on Fire so gripping were was the story. The story actually worked to where even though some aspects of the directing style I thought was a little obnoxious, the characters were so compelling that I was floored by the movie. And that didn't happen with Domino. Like Domino I stopped caring about, I'd say about 70% into the film. And then of course, this movie is over two hours long too, and it just felt needlessly padded out as well. Especially Tony Scott's version of the film, even though it feels like he montaged through her backstory to get to her as a bounty hunter, but still, there's a lot of padding in this story, and for this type of version of her story, probably should have been an hour and a half disposable action film. Would have been at least fun to watch, but yeah, the two hour runtime does feel padded out with a lot of filler, with quite a few subplots I don't care about. And overall, I do find Domino a pretty disappointing Tony Scott film. It's crazy. His films are all over the place. Like, I'll like a movie of his one day, but I'll be disappointed with another one another day. I don't think it's worth, like, 19% because there are some fun aspects of this movie. But I do find it pretty frustrating that there's some interesting aspects of this movie, but then there's other ones that make the movie dull and tedious. I'm going to give Domino... A two and a half out of five stars, and on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 41 out of 100. That wraps up my review of Domino as part of my Tony Scott Director's Marathon, where I review his complete filmography from his directing debut to his final film. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're a fan of Tony Scott as a director, I'll leave a link in the description below for my playlist with all the previous Tony Scott reviews I've done in the marathon so far. At the time of this video, I've done reviews of films such as Top Gun, Days of Thunder, Beverly Hills Cop 2, Crimson Tide, Man on Fire, Spy Game, and many, many more. I've also reviewed Enemy of the State, Revenge, The Last Boy Scout, The Hunger, and many, many more. So if you're a fan of Tony Scott as a director and want to check out more of my reviews in this marathon, definitely click the link in the description below to see more. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future Tony Scott reviews as I got a couple more films in the marathon to come. Join me next time in the Tony Scott marathon where I'll be taking a look at his 2006 film Deja Vu. Definitely look forward to that video coming very, very soon. But if you've seen Domino, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!